Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a how I like contour and highlights using the NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Palettes. I've had this for a while and I actually hated this product when I first got it. It's just that it's so thick and it's really hard to work with. But I found a way to get around this and I actually love this now. I don't use it as a concealer by itself because it is very, very thick. So I'm just going to show you how I like to achieve this look. I don't know how it looks on camera, but when I see it, it's it's nice and bright, like right in here, which is what I like. And I just packed on the highlight as per usual. But I just like to use this without a foundation so I don't look so cakey. And I like it because you can still see some imperfections peeking through. So it's just a little bit more toned down than what I usually do. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you want to learn how I highlight and contour um, using this NYX uh, little cream duo, then just keep on watching. So first I'm going to prime my face using the NYX Angel Veil. This is just what I've been using as of lately. And I really like it. So I'm going to be using the NYX Concealer Correct and Contour. I just find it to be a tad bit drying. So what I like to do is I like to add a little bit of oil just to get the product working, warm it up, and just make it easier for myself to work with. So I'm going to be applying a little bit of Argan Oil. This is by the brand Pure Dior. It's a really good Argan Oil. I use it for my whole body, my face, my hair, my cuticles, makeup, anything. So I like it and it's Argan Oil. So I like to start off first with my eyes and then just work my way around. So I'm going to start with the yellow shade here because that's going to be like my highlighting color. So I'm just going to leave that alone for a second. Now I'm going to move on to contouring. I like to take a mix of this and this, um, even though they're not as dark, but they work just fine. And with these, I like to use my fingers just to warm up the products. And this is going to go pretty much everywhere where you normally bronze your face or contour it. So I'm just going to bring it right here. Now I'm quickly going to just set everything. As you can see, it's very light. Um, I don't like to use foundations when I'm doing cream contour just because it's too much for me. It, it just it gets too cakey and my skin cannot handle that. So I'm going to go in with the NYX um, Contour and Highlight Palette and I'm going to take the yellow. So right here. go in and just bronze up my face and I'm just going to take some colors again from that same palette and I'm just going to hit all the parts where I applied that contour color. Thank you. 
So because I didn't wear foundation, it didn't completely conceal like all my imperfections, which I'm okay with because this gives me a more natural look. I'm just gonna take a little bit of concealer from that palette again. I'm gonna take this one right here and I just have like a little pimple. So I'm just gonna kind of dab that and you know, hide it a little bit. Now whenever I do this technique where I want to look a little more natural, I do like to just hack on my highlight. So I'm gonna go in with my Luxie Beauty highlight in the color Honey Child. I do have a full review on these products, so check them out. And I'm just going to pack that on to the highest points. So this is the final look. I don't know if you can see it, if the camera will even pick it up. But I feel like it looks very, very natural. Ish. I mean the highlight is a little intense but that's the purpose of this is just having like a really intense highlights and everything else be very minimal um, and in case you're wondering what's on my lips I am wearing Bumble by Colourpop Cosmetics this is one of my favorite lipsticks so that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and yeah, I believe that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.